In today's video, we're talking all about ClickUp's views, so sit tight and stay tuned. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ray. I'm the creator of Productive Co. I help service-based business owners with their systems and automation. A lot of people know me as the girl who teaches Dubsado CRM. I've been teaching Dubsado for about five or five and a half years now, but what a lot of people don't know is that I actually teach other systems and software as well. And one of those software is ClickUp for project management. I've been teaching it for about a year now, and I'm also a vetted ClickUp consultant. With all of that information, I figured I'm long overdue to create a video or two, maybe three or four, on how to use ClickUp. And I wanted to get started by talking about some of the areas within ClickUp, I see a lot of confusion happening. And one of those areas is views. So let's go into my demo account so we can get started talking about ClickUp's views. So the first thing I want to go over is how to know when you're looking at the hierarchy versus when you're looking at views. Now, I'm not gonna go too far in depth into ClickUp's hierarchy here because that's a whole different video, um, but I want you to understand the difference between the two. So the hierarchy is going to be found here on the left side of the page in the sidebar. It's in the spaces area. So everything I'm hovering over here now is the hierarchy. Now, um, you can think of this as just a way to organize your tasks, okay? So if you were at home and you had 200 tasks to do, you would write them into a to-do list. However, it might make more sense to have that many tasks into smaller lists. So maybe you have a marketing list and an admin list and so on. And that's effectively what you're doing with ClickUp's hierarchy. You put different tasks in different lists and you can organize them even further by putting them into similar folders and similar spaces, okay? Maybe you have a Facebook marketing list, an Instagram marketing list, and a YouTube marketing list, and you wanna put those all in a marketing folder or a marketing space, okay? So you can just think of the hierarchy as a way to organize your tasks. But the thing I want you to really understand is that when you look at a different list, it has a different set of tasks. So if I click on this list, you can see these set of tasks. And if I click on this list, see these set of tasks. So here you can see I have thing one, thing two, thing three, and thing four. And by default, whenever you click into a list, it's going to appear in a list format, just like you see here. But let's say I want to see it in a board format or a calendar format. Those are called views. They allow you to see the same set of tasks in different formats. So remember, I've got things one, two, three, and four here. And if I create a new view, I'm going to see things one, two, three, and four also in this view. It's just in a different format. And if I click on the calendar view, it's gonna be the same. Here's thing one, two, three, and four, okay? So views allow you to see the same set of tasks in a different format. Now to create a new view, you're going to click into the level of the hierarchy you want to create the view. So you first click into the sidebar, choose the level of the hierarchy you want to go to, and then you're going to come up here and go to plus view. Now, these are all of the different view options ClickUp allows you to create. And you can give it a custom name here on the top just by typing in the name. So by default, it's going to choose whatever you click on. It's going to say list or board, but you can give it a more personalized name if you want. And then you'll just select add view. So you can see here, I have these three different views. Now, the next thing I want to go over is organizing your views. So by default, ClickUp is going to organize the views in the order that you create them. But you, if you wanna drag and drop them into a different order, you can, but you have to do this one thing first. You have to first hover over the view and then click the ellipses icon and then go to pin. Once it's pinned, you can drag and drop it in to the order you want, okay? So then I would come in here and pin this view and then this view, and then I could rearrange these in whichever order I want because they're all pinned. Now, if you only have one pin, it's gonna go to the very front of the line and then all the unpinned ones will go to the back, okay? Uh, the next thing I want to go over is when you click out of this level in the hierarchy and then you go back in. So 
pay attention here. You can see I'm in the board view and then I'm gonna go to a different level in the hierarchy and then I'm gonna come back and it's gonna take me back to the board view. So it's gonna take you back to the view you were last in unless you create a default view. So let's say every time you come into this level of the hierarchy, there's one view that you just, you want to open up. You can hover over that view and then go to more settings and then make it the default view. Now, if you select default for everyone, that means everyone on your team is gonna have that as the default view. If you say default to me mode, it's going to make that the default view just for you, okay? So we'll make this the default for everybody. So this means if I'm in the list view and then I click away to a different level in the hierarchy and then I go back, it's gonna take me to the board view because I've set that as my default, okay? So if you are like, why do I keep going back into this view when I wanna be in something else? It's, you can hover over this and then turn off the default, okay? Another thing I want to point out is that you can add views to your favorites list. So your favorites list is gonna be on the sidebar. And instead of having to click through the different levels of the hierarchy and then click through the different views, if there's something that you're referencing all the time, if there's a specific view that you're always referencing, you can just add it to your favorites list and then give it a title and then it will just appear in your favorites list. So it's just really quick access for you to do, okay? Now let's go over one other area of confusion I see a lot of people struggling with. Now you have to understand that views are specific to that particular level in the hierarchy. So right now we're in the demo list. This is the list level. And these are the three different views I have. I've got list view, board view, and calendar view. However, if I go higher up in the hierarchy to the sandbox, it's not going to have those views, okay? So it's specific to that level in the hierarchy. So this is a mistake a lot of people make. They'll go make the views and then they'll click into some other level of the hierarchy and they'll think, well, where did all my views go? Because you're not in the same level of the hierarchy. If you're wondering if, why they disappeared, that's why. Now let's go over another feat option that you have with views and this is where you can actually group the information in different formats so by default your list view is going to be grouped together by status so these are all of my things that are to do i can also show all my things that have been done if i click this here so it'll show all my completed tasks here and then all my to-do tasks here and then let's say i want to create another list view but this one i group by priority and then I can come in here and say priority. So now I've got a list view that's grouped together by status and then a list view that's grouped together by priority. So they're both list views just grouped together differently. So you can see that now I have things sorted by urgent, high and no priority. Now, the next thing I want to go over is saving these views. This is another area of confusion I see. So whenever you make changes to your grouping and your filtering, ClickUp's gonna have this box pop open on the lower right corner that asks you, how do you wanna save these changes? Do you want it to revert back to what, you, what it just was before? Or do you want to auto-save this view? Now, if you select auto-save, it will save the changes you made just now, but it will also save any future changes you make. If you just select save, it will save the changes you made just now. So this is an area that a lot of people struggle with. They, they wonder why their change, changes aren't saving and it's because they haven't selected something here or selected the right thing, okay? And the last thing I want to mention is if you create two of the same view types, so let's say you create two lists, what ClickUp is automatically going to do is stack them together. So you can see how it says the number two there. It's because they've stacked them together. I don't like that they do that, um, but in order to separate them, you need to open this carrot icon up here and then you need to pin the views. Okay, so once you pin them, they separate. So then you can drag and drop them in the order you want, okay? So that is everything that I wanted to go over for ClickUp's views today. 
If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribed to this channel. It really helps my channel out. If you have any questions below, you can pop them in the comments. And if you would like additional help with ClickUp, I have a lot of free and paid resources on my website that I'll link to down below. Now that's all that we have for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.